Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? What's up? Oh, it's been a while since I last wore something other than a sweatshirt or a hoodie on here. First makeup tutorial for 2021. Yeah. Let's do it you guys, let's just jump right into it. I don't know why I'm moving my hands so much, I'm trying to work out while doing a makeup tutorial. Oh my god, guys, that can be a challenge! Imagine trying to do your eyeliner while also doing a plank. No, 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 no. My earring just passed out. You literally had one job to just hang from my ear there. So we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow primer. You can also use concealer. That's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with this one here by Wet n Wild. But before I do that, your eyeshadow primer or concealer or whatever you're using to prime your eyelids, it's like the warm up for your makeup look. So you definitely don't wanna skip it. Now take your powder, whatever you're usually using on your face. Get it on a big fluffy brush, top of the excess, always do that, and go over that concealer. The eyeshadows always look better if you have something on your eyelids before you start applying them. So make sure that you prep your eyes somehow. Even if it's just some powder before you start applying your eyeshadows. That works too if you don't have concealer or eyeshadow primer, just a little bit of powder. I got inspired for this look from this Huda Beauty Gold eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I like how small it is, but it has so many shimmery shades inside. Like, oh my god. But it also has all the essential matte eyeshadows. So our first eyeshadow is going to be this one here. Close your eye and Place it in your crease. Place it in a way that when you have your eye open, you'll be able to see it peaking slightly above your crease. That's where you want to place it. Obviously, we all have different eye shapes, so it's different for different people. But again, just keep in mind that when you have your eyes open, you want to kind of be able to see it. I think that this is especially helpful for those of you guys with hooded eyelids. That's what you want to keep in mind. Okay, now I'm gonna take this smaller blending brush. I just wanna show you the difference, guys. This one is a lot more like poof, this one. <laughs> Where this one, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not that rounded as this one. See, it's a little bit more <laughs> Yeah, I'm really bad at explaining stuff, huh? I hope my sound effects make it easier for you to understand. I don't know how else to describe what I wanna say. This one is <laughs> and this one is <laughs> you know, see, clear as a day. A very foggy one. Okay, and I'm gonna take this smaller blending brush and I will load it with some of this brown eyeshadow from that Huda Beauty palette. I like using the darker colors with smaller brushes. It's just, I feel like I have a lot more control. So now I'm applying this again in my crease, but a little bit lower than that previous shade. I don't wanna cover the previous shade completely, but I wanna add a little bit more depth in the crease. Okay, and you want to have something like this. Don't worry if it looks harsh. It's supposed to look harsh. Now, if you're a brush maniac like me, you can switch to a clean one. But if you're a normal person that owns normal amount of brushes, <laughs> you can take that same brush, wipe it off. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Switch hands. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh my god. My left hand is useless. It feels so weird for me to do stuff with my left hand, it's so awkward. Anyways, we're doing that because we wanna get rid of the excess brown eyeshadow that we had on our brush. And now, same brush, dipping it in that previous shade that we used. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start diffusing that brown eyeshadow. Circular motions and getting rid of those harsh lines. You want everything to look nice, smooth, diffused. You want to make all of those people that have no clue how makeup works, you want them to really believe that you woke up like this. You want it to look natural. You want it to look pretty, like you. It's such a pity to apply bad makeup on your beautiful face. You don't want to waste your beauty like that. Respect yourself, lovely people. I mean, I see you already respect yourself because you're here watching this tutorial, so that's good. And I'm out of focus. Hate you, camera. I hate you. I respect myself, but my camera doesn't respect me. And I paid for it. The audacity of that 
camera. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use some of the shimmers. I'm gonna make a very nice mixture of shimmers on my eyelids so that the look will be a little bit more interesting. You know, it's not gonna be just one flat color. It will be a gradient of colors and shimmers. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This is a very yellow gold eyeshadow. It's very vibrant. And this is going in the outer half of my eyelid. Okay, here. Boom. I'm gonna wipe off my finger. Now I'm gonna take some of this one, adding it in the inner half. And then in the center between those two eyeshadows, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow in the center. Boom, boom, boom. And that's pretty much it. Next up, I'll go ahead and do my winged eyeliner. I started with a pen eyeliner, but then it didn't look good to me. I don't know, it was just not covering the eyeshadows how I wanted. So I also went on top of it with some gel eyeliner. And that made it very black and matte. I should have just used the gel eyeliner. I've used this pen eyeliner by Urban Decay so many times, you guys. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually grabbed it with my other hand. That was a very surprising move for me. Usually I'm so slow. When something falls down, I just let it fall down. <laughs> I'm not wasting any extra energy if I see something falling down. I'm just kidding. If I can save it, I will. But I'm surprised how I... See, I can't do it second time. I'm surprised how I grabbed that eyeliner without even looking with my other hand. See, working out the arms really work. <laughs> I don't know what kind of exercise is this one. <laughs> oh, something cracked. Anyways, um, I did my eyeliner. Now we're gonna move on to the falsies, baby. Yep. I'm gonna use a pair by Velour Lashes. The main reason I love these is because it's so easy for me to apply them. I don't know exactly what it is. I feel like they're just... They work well with my eye shape. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> the lower lashes, my friends, they won't disappoint you. I also like the Huda Beauty lashes. I think that they also well, work well with my eye shape. The House of Lashes Lash, lash Glue? <laughs> the House of Lashes Lash Glue? <laughs> the House of Lashes Lash Glue, oh my God. That lash glue will, it is so strong. That's my go-to lash glue when I know that I'm gonna be wearing my lashes for a very long amount of time. lash glue a few minutes before you begin sticking on your lashes. <laughs> that trick will make your life so much easier, I promise. Okay, lashes are on, we're done with the upper part of the look and to complete it now I'll just need to do some lower lash line touches. Here's what I'm gonna do, angled brush Back to that Huda Beauty eyeshadow, taking some of that dark brown shade. And now that I have all of that eyeshadow on my brush, I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray. This will make that eyeshadow wet and it's gonna be like you're applying eye pencil. From powder to gel. It's not exactly gel, you know, it's, it's just a wet eyeshadow, but it's so much easier to apply it. Okay, something like this. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm kind of connecting it with my eyeliner whoop, to the center of my eye. Look at this adorable brush. Oh my god. This is the Nabla Lash Line Smudger. I'm gonna take on it some of this and this shade and try to kind of diffuse the edges of that dark brown eyeshadow and keeping it as close to my lashes as possible. If you want, you can try to blend it down and not keep it so closely to your lashes. Try it out, see how it looks on you. And here is something that I recently... <laughs> I recently started doing this. This is the House Labs... What is this? Micro Tip Eyeliner. Um, and this has a very, very, very tiny tip. It's an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner, but the tip is like... Super, so very tiny, so adorable. <laughs> but I like adding little dots in between my lashes. Mm -hmm. 
and this intensifies the lower lash line for me but I don't have like crazy amount of eyeshadows under my lower lashes I, I look very tired when I do a lot of lower lash line work yeah, I'm doing work, that's why I look tired <laughs> two last steps I pencil in the waterline keeping it only in the outer half of the waterline again, if you want, bring it all the way to the inner corner of your eye and mascara, I'm using that e.l.f. mascara again just in the outer lashes here ah, I hate the face that I make when I do this Alright, I'm gonna finish up this look with some lip liner and some lipstick Look at this lip gloss you guys, it's red with ton of gold shimmers in there Ooh. I didn't want my lipstick to be that nude, I wanted to make it a little bit more pink So that's why I added some red lip gloss on top of it and boom, this lip gloss is nice Okay guys, and this is our final look. I kind of look like the play button behind me. <laughs> this look was inspired by the play button. <laughs> Thank you play button. No, it was not actually inspired from the play button. I got my inspiration from this Huda Beauty Gold palette. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I do this every time I wear long earrings. I just... I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. That's the best thing that you can do if you want to support my channel and what I do here. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!